Hello YouTube, hello Twitch. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you might notice something is not quite the same here. That's right, it's Libra Paladin again. It's the third iteration of this deck that I'm running. And this is mainly because of two reasons. Uh, firstly, there have been some buffs to the Libra Paladin. Mainly in the form of the weapon. The Interstellar Star Slicer was a 2-3 before. It's now a 3-2, which is immensely better. Like, it pushes out more damage, which I think is good for this mid ranger deck to be able to keep up with some of the aggression of some of the other decks. And it means it breaks faster, which means that you get the Libram discounts quicker. That is a fantastic thing. Uh, the other card that changed was Yorel, which was a 5-mana 4-3, right? It's now a 4-mana 3-3. I think this is a fairly minor change, but it's still a step in the right direction. The second thing is that a lot of the cards out there that I think were some problems for the Libram deck got sort of dealt with. Like these super, super strong control cards, which could just deny these ginormous minions. I kind of saw the idea of the Libram Paladin being the same way as the Starships, that you can't really run a deck, or you couldn't run a deck with just one big minion in it, as you would just get it poofed away, or it gets stolen, or something along those lines. Now I think there is some sort of room to have these ginormous guys, and they might actually live and do... Some Damagios, which is kind of the, the intent of Hearthstone. So I think because of the way the meta is potentially swinging now, or at least the, the nerfs have hit the the decks which would hit this deck as well, I, I think there is room for Libra Paladin to be a thing. I still don't think it's going to be a tier 1 deck, but certainly I can see it actually being in the tier 3 region now, whereas before I don't think it was a tier 3 deck. Uh, I have made some changes from my previous iteration of the list. The big one is Cold Feet has dropped out the list. I used to have this as a one-off in the deck, and my ETC had one in it. I've actually removed the ETC as well because of this. Uh, I've come to the conclusion you don't need that anymore because the reason Cold Feet I put in this deck as a tech card was because it had such a bad win rate against Elemental Mage. And I kind of came to the conclusion that a big part of that was because of Lamplighter just, you know, finishing you off in the mid-range when this deck is meant to be going up online. Uh, because Lamplighter now doesn't need you to run these big continuous change of elementals, there is still Azerite Giant, but I figured it, this wasn't a big enough draw for me to uh, run Cold Feet into. So instead of actually taking out the Cold Feet and the ETC, and I replaced it with Consecration because I still can't deal with the Overflow Surge very well, but Consecration is good enough for that. Now, Consecration, Consecration was also in my ETC, so I've decided just to get rid of ETC and just put two Consecrations in the deck. Uh, the other card that I've taken out is two times Divine Brew. Uh, it came to the conclusion that the two times Divine Brews as good as they were for the early game, which they were really good for the early game. Uh, Liadrin just ended up spitting out a bunch of, like, you know, the, the two drink, one drink left Divine Brews. And they weren't really what you were looking for. You wanted the Librum of Divinities. Because I've sort of come to the conclusion now that this deck, you just want to win the game by getting a bunch of Librums of Divinities and some of the other minion buffing Librums. And just throw it on a Leroy and Leroy wins the game. Kind of like the hand buff Paladin deck, but with a... A, a little bit more of a, I, I don't even know what to call it, some other steps behind it. It's not quite all in as that package is. Uh, there were some other minor changes I made. So for the two cards, by the way, that I took for that out, uh, I added Ceaseless Expanse to the deck because one of the nice things about Ceaseless Expanse is I could use it to board clear before I used my Leroy big turn play. I've also added Sank Azel to the deck. I actually wanted to add this into a previous iteration but couldn't find any room for it. Anything that makes this deck a little bit faster I think is good news for the deck. So Sank Azel also made it into the list. Uh, I've also added a copy of Tigris Plushie. I've also added Holy Cowboy times two. Uh, I think this was for Glow Sticks. I think I eventually decided that after I removed the Divine Brews, Glow Sticks didn't really have any reason, I, uh, any reason to be in here anymore because I didn't have that many Holy Spells. Or at least good enough Holy Spells that I could, like, you know, combo with that card. Uh, so instead, I, I think there's, like, two thoughts about this Libram deck. There's one of them that runs Lanessa to duplicate the Librams, and there's one that doesn't. It runs it more as a... I, I think, like, what you'd say is a classic mid-range deck. So I've gone for this classic variant, and instead, anything that would go well with the Lanessa, I've sort of dropped it out of the package. But the Tigress is really in here to receive some of the buffs of the Librams. Then they can rush to the face and heal you back up, because one of the other issues we had with this deck was that it would eventually just get chipped down and you would lose via that other mean oh i remember the other card now i removed erodar brute as well because i feel like consecration will cover the job of that card uh, a bit of a combination between consecration and the plushie and sanctus that will hopefully cover that region it might not but we'll find out we can fine tune it as we like you may also notice i suppose if i'm going to be honest with you i'm not on the camera right now this is just you know don't adjust your sets <laughs> this is the closest representation I could think of to me. 
Uh, just as, like for some foretelling, because this is going to be probably true of the next Hearthstone episode and probably a Peglin episode. Uh, currently, I say currently, most of today, I've had no water because there's been a water issue on one of the pipes in the main road. So they had the water shut off for about 12 hours You're today. Ahead. And I've not been able to shower, so I feel a bit grimy right now after, you know, a long, hard day of... Uh, lying in bed and watching the Overwatch Champion series. But I, I decided not to put myself on the camera because I've not showered. And instead, I'm going to shower after the stream and get into bed nice, warm, and cozy. Uh, okay, Paladin v. Paladin. Hmm. I think we keep one Salesman, but not the other one. Uh, also, during the courses of all my changes, I've added another instrument tech to the deck, because I think now drawing this weapon is like... It was really important before, but like I think now it's a good weapon to play as well, so it's a little bit more important, even. I believe the most common form of Paladin is Hand Buff, and they're using the default portrait, which makes me think it is Hand Buff Paladin I'm playing against, but we'll see. One that doesn't really reveal anything to me. Problem. It's a mirror match, I think. Okay. Mm. If I snake coil, I can use divine right. Sorry, I can use righteous protector to protect the two two. But do I care that much? Draw. You read them. Oh, wow. Okay. They're cooking. I said there's a few Libram lists out right now. I don't think any of them have fully refined the list. One dose solves any problem. I was going to say Consecration would go pretty hard right now, but... Uh, what are the odds of us getting that? All right, let's go get our weapon. And go slightly wider. We've got Star Slice to start reducing the Librams. I feel like the mirror is going to be some sort of race to get your Librams down fairly, like... Basically down to zero as fast as possible. Okay. Consecration. Uh, it's not a great consecration right now, but that being said... I'm not going to get many better consecrations in this, I feel like, in this matchup. Because they're going to just go really tall with it. What to do? We can hold, though. I think. It takes. I cannot read them. It's fine. I don't need the other draw right now. My my hand is just full of draw cards. I need cards that, you know, do something. Yeah. 
In the great dark beyond, there is still life. Another weapon if I want it. Uh... I actually don't... I, I do care about the, the stat increase on this, but I don't think I care enough to wait for a turn. I think I just want to keep playing on curve right now. In the great dark beyond, there is still light. Okay, now we could start doing some minor punishes at least. Uh, 13, 17. We're threatening lethal. They don't know it, but I am threatening lethal right now. Thirteen, seventeen, well, twenty-two, twenty-five. No it's exactly lethal. An excellent play. Wait, it's not exactly lethal. <laughs> I can't count. It's one over lethal. Is Leroy a 6-2? I thought it was a 5-2. I'm out I'm, of oh my goddamn mind. Whatever, we won the game. It was better than under than over there. Hmm. Now, here's a question. This is some of the water that's out of the taps. I did run it for a while, but do I trust water from the, the tap after repairing it? You're ready! Don't see any particular, but I guess it's not an issue. Well, the whatever. If I, if I die, this is my will. It, it all goes to the cats. Cheers. Hmm. Very refreshing. Okay. Uh, we don't want Libram of Faith immediately. Holy cowboy. I'm almost certainly not playing it on three, so I'm actually going to send that back as well. I'll keep your rel. Uh, instrument taken to weapon. I really want a one drop right now, aka Righteous Protector or Miracle Salesman. Cool. Ooh. I was going to say Mage. I'm going to assume it's Elemental still. Mage is actually plummeted in win right now because they got hit pretty hardly on their, their two big decks. AKA Big Spell Mage, which is basically not viable anymore. I, I, I don't think that's completely true, but it, it's mainly true. And Elemental Mage, which is definitely not as strong as it was once. Is this some sort of Rainbow Mage? Or is it Minionless Mage? Because they just threw this out here for like... Okay, I think it's Minionless, right? Because you wouldn't be running that in the deck otherwise. By the way, currently I look like I'm hand buff paladin. I I'm masquerading mage. 
You think it's hand buff. Little did they know. So I'm going to assume that's counterspell or explosive. That would make the most sense. If it's explosive... I don't really have anything great to send into. I guess amateurs would be the best, but I'm not going to wait that long. Holy moly, my opponent's cooking. It's tight rules. Plushie could be an interesting shout as well for it. Don't break it. The minion lives then. Repair. Okay, it's counter spell. Guide me. I'll throw a coin into it at some point. There is, I, I can't remember what the Draenei is called, but it's not that common to run Righteous Protector in this deck. You normally run the Draenei that's a 2-1 that gives the next Draenei you play 2-1. But because I'm running one copy of Astral Vigilant in my deck, oh, good overdraw. Uh, because I'm running a copy of that in my deck, I didn't want to run another Draenei in there because I really want to get back kind of Murel only, but not quite true. Sometimes I might want to draw some more cards, but anyway. Because I wanted to focus more on Ural than anything, I decided to not add any more Draenei to the deck. My hand is totally oh well, don't need that one. It's not an important card, right? It's not like my key key card in my deck. Smile. Go to perfection. Runes guide me. One dose serves. Whatever, we can get more copies of Divinity back. It's probably one of the worst males I could have had with what's left in my deck. I also kind of need to keep this plushie because that deck is going to machine gun me down at some point. I need to, like, gigabuff it. But actually, now that I think about it, the Libra of Hope will also be pretty powerful for me here. I just need to remember to not play a Libra into Counterspell. That would be really dumb. It would be really dumb. Runes guide me. I could also throw justice into the. Oh no, I probably might. What well, justice actually? Justice was consecration. I'm pretty sure one of them is going to be explosive. Maybe I just throw a hope in already. To do. Coin hope. The next question I've really got is, do I put a divinity on it? And I think the answer to that is yes. Now, do I put a wisdom on it is the next question. I think the answer is actually no, I don't. Uh, actually, hang on a minute. Should I have done that? I shouldn't matter too much. Possibly I should have done because it gets me two swings away from lethal then. 
I just don't want it to fill my hand if I want to get divinities back, not uh, wisdoms, and I've got the adrenaline hand. Oh my god, just discover all the answers. Smile. It's fine. Oh, I still need to play around explosive, because I think it is explosive. Myself back to full. And we're about to get a one card back, so I could do with playing another card here. Do I just blow a faith? I think we just blow a faith. The minions. Good. Mm. Okay. Two of three is not that bad. Uh, three. Three. Or I could just leave him here. I have the heals in hand. Guide me. Not I'm frozen. <laughs> I'm so dumb. It, it doesn't matter, to be honest with you, because I just needed to burn a card. We, we'll get Consecration here. Alright, we don't get Consecration. However, I get this combo instead. Can you please attack? Turn to the light. Okay, I should really be paying attention as well to how many divinities I played during the course of this game. Because I think Leroy is lethal now at 14. So, sorry. It, it's lethal with all the divinities, so I just need to play Liadrin. Three. Okay. Oh my god, I, I think that was a pretty bad result for me. Five, nine. Should have swung first, but it doesn't matter. This might be lethal, honestly. Uh, nine. I'm one off lethal. No, I'm not. Turn to the light. Turn to the light. An excellent one. Guide me. <laughs> the weapon swing gets him. The, by far and away the best I've had with Libra and Paladin of the the three times I've played it now. I'm not in despair yet. That can soon change though, don't worry. Not always the answer. The uh, holy cowboy. Mm, I'm probably not playing on three, to be completely honest with you. 
I should probably consider the, keeping the plushie, though. I, I think I will. Just in the off chance this is the aggro deck, I can want Consecration. Ah, a reasonable draw. I'm pretty certain Mage's most popular deck now is Elemental Mage. As it kind of was before. There were close big spell mage and elemental mage in terms of, you know, playability. At least on ladder. I think big spell mage was definitely the better of the two decks, but they were close to one another. But the changes to the rogue cards that they have to be from other classes has, like, just hurt that deck so much. Since you don't play against, you know, like, eight tsunamis during the course of a game now. Makes the deck a little bit weaker. My opponent okay? Or is the client crash? I've heard a lot of, like, speak on the old Twitter feeds that the client is, like, having some big issues right now and everyone's, like, suffering as well with it, just crashes and stuff, so... Uh, hopefully that gets rectified at some point. I'm playing against a rope opponent. Honestly, I spent all day waiting for water. I'm, I'm happy enough to wait for like every single turn to rope if you want to, you know, play that game, mage. Now the client probably just crashed because that's what's been happening to most people, but. I know what people are like in Hearthstone, they're desperate for those wins. Rope every turn, hope that they just instantly concede because they have better things to do with their life. Trust me, I have nothing better to do with my life. Anyway, they, they've conceded, so. I'm going to assume it was a client crash, I won't count it. I believe Wheel Walk is also performing quite well in the new patch. We might have an issue here. If it's Wheel Walk, I need to set off the Ceaseless Expanse Leroy combo. So we're basically going to turn into a combo deck. So I basically need to draw cards, I think, as quickly as possible. But they might be able to do me faster than I can do them. We'll see. I've also seen versions of this deck that don't run the Ceaseless, but I feel like you kind of have to to like be able to break down the a potential wall so you can get Leroy to go through. Wow. I thought only I ran mass production in my decks. Oh, it's pain, right? Oh my god! <laughs> what an opening for them. Uh, well, unfortunately for me, for I have to do that. Repent. I think we ping one of them. Because they'll trade with the other, then I can ping the other one. Like, whatever happens. Man, I've not played against this deck for so long. Okay, we should probably ping the two one now. Okay. Guide me. I, I say okay. Maybe I shouldn't be embracing giving my opponent pain here. <laughs> this might be a bit of a dumb play now that I think about it. Okay, well, that's going to be a small issue. The light dims, but we are I cannot read them. Runes guide me! 
fine. The 10 7 can't get through my Divine Shield Sword. It'll protect me. Now, how do I do the additional one damage right now is the real question. I guess I'm going to have to hope I draw another Libra of Divinity from this thing. I guess he wanted to keep it at more health. Okay. The last drain I played was the draw one. Uh oh. I can't get out of this, can I? Faith revealed. <laughs> They might not have one. It's fine. They might not find it. It's fine. No, of course they did. If it was me, I would not have got one of the two six damage options. That's all I'm saying. All right, well done for winning the lottery, Warlock. Enjoy your job. None of these cards. I'm not a huge fan of these cards either, if I'm going to be honest again. It's not terrible. I don't really have a one play. I don't think I, I, don't think I almost ever just play this as a one, two on one. Unless I'm really scared about an aggro matchup. Which maybe I should be versus Hunter. Wow. Ah, oh, you can't believe it. <laughs> Come on. The odds. Uh, I'm going to try and bait more onto my opponent's board. Before I waste Consecration out. I can't believe they hit that. I mean, I guess I can. When I really think about it, it was... What was the odds of that? It was just flipping a head... Two out of three times, which isn't that unrealistic. All right, playing against Control Hunter, apparently. I'm, I'm fine with this. In the great dark beyond, there is light. Job done. I had this experience last time I played this deck. I seem to draw Liadrin, Liadrin an awful lot. Not complaining particularly, but it's just a fact of the matter. No one's going to believe this. <laughs> Well, that's consecration. Are you going to trade? Wow. Why? I don't understand. Buffing Librams, please. I, I have a plushie. 
Oh my god. It's Face Hunter. A real Face Hunter in the flesh. Uh, Yurel could work here. There is time for prayer. I don't think Hunter kills me next turn. I don't trust that though. Our souls are scattered across the universe. Don't break it! I'm not gonna get pew pews again, I think. This might be Amethyst incoming. Or do I just send out healing? I think we just play Amethyst, right? Reveals the way. I will not forsake. Open your minds to the light. Don't break it. Stay vigilant. Don't break it. Oh, and assume you don't have six in the face. It's not fine. I got face hunted. Feels bad. God damn it. Oh, no, ironically, I lost because of a coin flip. If that minion lived early on, I think we win this game. I, I take slightly less damage, which means I get one third into the game, which lets me get a heal off. I also probably should have turned them into two twos instead of turning mine into plus two plus twos so that I could kill my guy to put Libra of, not Divinity, whatever the other one, Wisdom is, onto my Amateur so it could take one more hit. I was toying with trying to do that, but I didn't. Man, I got punished. But I, I'm pretty certain if I lived one more turn, I would have won the game. Because what, what would they have done about 8 health, Divine Shield, Torn Minion? It, it would have just been over. Alright, this is Handbuff Paladin. So, I don't know how I feel about my Handbuff Paladin matchup with this deck. My gut feeling is it's not going to be good. I feel like that deck can put just more pressure on than I can. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can just gunk up the game a little bit. Uh, drawing your is a pretty good guy, actually. Because I feel like the, the Divine Shield taunt stuff and the... To turn every minion into one health or opponent minion into one health are going to be pretty important in this matchup. Still staggered they haven't touched Handbook Paladin, by the way. There is time for prayer. Time for action. Don't break it. 
Not that I know it's a tier one deck, but it's just been like, it's been near the top for so goddamn long. Just get rid of it. I've seen enough of endlessly buffing minions. Uh, two ways to go about this turn, actually. I could keep the URL up. And blow a divinity. I actually don't hate the idea of that play. Just keep my board so I have stuff to trade. The 6-1 will be nice. My opponent might swing into it because that deck probably has healing in it. Okay. Accidents. They happen, you know. Time to get a grip. Uh, I could leave him consecration here. If I feel under enough pressure, which to be honest with you, I I kind of do, but at the same time I feel like I shouldn't. I could break my weapon this turn as well. Well, I don't think I'm under pressure to. copy the wisdom as much but i think the game won't get to that state toys are much more fun to it honestly could have been worse at least it wasn't Wind Fury. I should have actually cleared that off. That was a misplay from me. I, I don't know why. I just didn't even think about the, the spark bots. In their waters. Still, we're going to get some pretty big value from Libram plus Consecration. My only concern now, obviously, is they just have Leroy in hand and I lose the game. But again, it's a bit of an unlucky. If they've had Leroy in the hand since the opening turn and just been buffing it every turn, what can you do? An outfit tailor, I guess, would they probably need as well with it. All right, that's positive. Feel that healing beat. God, this deck just doesn't go down. It's such a nuisance. Anyway, now we can recover. Three. Push the button, maybe. Or I do the reverse. Yeah, I think I do the reverse. Turn to the light. 
It probably won't matter this because my Librams are mainly at zero. It only matters if I draw a Faith there, I think. Smell golden in their waters. The toy store belongs to the Titans. <laughs> Keep on panning. Let me check with this first. Sanctazel turns that into an eleven. Eight. Wait, he won't until I attack with it. So that this will turn this into an eleven. I think I don't have lethal. Purity. Had lethal, I don't know. The mask got too confusing for me. Either way, this sets up a pretty good board state for me. That deck might run ceaseless expanse as well. I need to be a bit careful of just throwing my ceaseless out willy nilly. You have a fraction of my Never ending, man. This is your moment. Never mind, it is ending. <laughs> God damn that deck. Just replay on this is data below diamond, I believe. Uh, Warrior is currently the, the worst class after the patch. I think that isn't right, though. I think it's actually wrong. I just think people are just not willing to play Control Warrior, Odin Control Warrior, which I still believe is pretty strong right now. But the, the Highlander deck obviously got hit pretty hard. Ooh, good turn one play. Uh, we're probably going to coin a three right now, but I don't love that play either. Maybe we just push the button. Uh, just use yeah, we'll just push button. Reporting for duty. Okay, it's the Taunt Warrior deck. Well, instrument tech has no value in my deck anymore. This is going to be pain. Zillax, by the way, in the most recent patch, not nerfed, astonishingly, considering he's in every deck. And I love that this is seeing play now. I, I've seen this is going into these control lists. Everyone poo pooed this card, and I thought it actually looked okay. Uh, and it's actually proven to be okay. Nothing more, nothing less. The 
Oh well, we lose sang to Zell. I sleep. I let's sleep about this interaction. I guess we just consecrate trade. No, consecrate coin weapon is way better. I told you this coin was gonna come in handy. Also, I couldn't trade now that I think about it. Okay, Astral Vision will get me another URL back. Currently. Assuming I play the URL and not the researcher. <laughs> I'm in danger. Putting the pressure on. I'm pretty certain I played that in the right order. Suck it up. The universe. There is time for prayer and time for action. Now is the time! Go to perfection. Uh, I'm getting three cards back from this. No, four cards back from this. So I should just play this. And that card. I'm actually potentially going to overdraw again. But I think that's... Well, it's not fine, but it is what it is. I I'm trying, okay? I'm trying to play my cards as fast as I possibly can. Actually need that card anymore, funnily enough. Uh I don't really want to play a Wisdom again right now. I might do what looks kind of stupid. I also played that wrong. I should definitely have done it the other way to get the Snake Oil doing something. That's my bad. But yeah, I want to get as many of these Divinities back as possible. As I think that is going to be my win condition. Also, is this a deck I'm not aware of? Are they going to try and get infinite armor in some manner? Because they're very much looking like they're doing something I don't want them to do. Okay. Wait, do I have lethal? Did I have lethal? 5, 13, 19, 20, 26, 29, 30. Warrior intrigued by what you were up to, but I'm pretty sure I was going to die very soon afterwards. 
I, I assume he was going to be sleeping under the stars, gain like an infinite amount of armor type thing, and then just OTK me. So, probably lucky that I had lethal in that zone. Nearly missed it as well. I was like, hang on a minute, I've I've actually chipped my opponent down over the course of this game. Maybe I should check for lethal. Alright, well, this is the last game. One nice thing about the Libran Paladin is it's a very fast deck, so... Uh, we're getting through a lot of games. Lady the Archer that you've been in. I've drawn you every game, I think. I may not have played you every game, but I've certainly drawn you. Hello again, my dear. Let me hear you make some noise! Alright, so this is Odin Warrior. Again, I'm masquerading right now. I'm hand buff paladin. <laughs> I'm not. All right. Interesting play to just play this out. Oh, I guess they think I'm hand buff paladin, right? So they want me to play on tempo. Oh, that's cute. Me. So we can get divinity to cost zero next turn. Which is probably going to be the play. Do a little smork. Alright, pretty good turn. That was effectively 8 7 in stats, where 1 1 is Taunt Divine Shield for 4. It's a pretty solid turn. I am in Brawl territory, though. I'm also in the territory of. I have no cards. I haven't played one yet. <laughs> Only slightly annoying. Wow, this actually is a lot of armor gain. I think I pass. I've got the 1-1 one, one annoying minion in the way. I don't really want to throw something else into a brawl right now. I might have to just pop this other Divinity and Liadrin for less. Or I could just play that. I feel like I made a misplay there. <laughs> I missed four damage. It actually matters quite a lot. Oh, well. Wow, what's that in your deck for? Wait, what is this? Shenanigans? What is this chicanery that's going on right now? Uh, so we trade into that. That becomes zero. That becomes a 4-4. Four, four. We trade. I think we just play Liadrin. Although it's only going to give me two, right? Okay. I'm going to go a little greedier because I think I need more juice. More juice. Three mana draw three is a pretty good card. All forms of life will be crushed. decimation. Your L, please. It texts. I cannot read them. Better.
Uh. In the great dark beyond, there is light. So what they do with this? I'm going to assume a brawl is incoming, but I, I've i now played four divinities, I think. Maybe five. Brawl. Please win the brawl. I, I don't even care if a 3-3 three, three wins. Just win the brawl. All right, we're going to win the brawl. It was a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, wow, that's a pretty good minion to brawl as well. I didn't really consider it. I didn't consider that. Alright, we're not going to get another... Your boy, your L. I need more juice. That's not the juice I was looking for. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've misplayed horribly. But it's fine. We'll just win by alternate means. I actually should consider playing around the MCT as well. Because I bet you that deck might... Well, it might not run it, but there's a chance it runs MCT. And the last thing I want to do is get MCT'd. Because I don't think I can deal with the... The big minion right now. So it's probably Liadra next turn, right? to cash in on my zero zeros. I cannot read. I fucked up, I think. No, I've not. I've played enough now, that's fine. I thought the, this was still one cost because of the Holy Cowboy. The Actually, no. Oh, whatever. It's Turn fine. Stay vigilant. I can't because of hand restrictions. Uh... They have another brawl, do you think? They're all coming back into my hand, by the way, so I'm going to fill my hand. I've accepted the overdraw. Either way, we have plus... 21, we have 29 damage in hand for when we want to use it. So if three damage lives on the board, I have lethal and the A no more armor. I have seen creation and I will bring destruction. That's a problem. That's a big problem. My hand is totally full. That's funny. It's still a huge problem though. I think we're dead. Maybe I can bait him. Just check it wrong. Astonishing. Uh, if I want to win the game, I have to trade, but it doesn't really matter. 
Because I'll lose the game the turn afterwards. Time's up. Let's do this. An excellent play. Because all that would have happened was I would have got pushed for 11 damage. Got on to 13. Had my board played with a 15-15. And nothing in my hand... Sorry, my deck saves me. I, I guess Sanctazel would have saved me, maybe. Maybe I should have gone for the Sanctazel play. Yeah, maybe I should have actually chased it a little bit harder than that. I felt like with the, without the charge, it would just never break through against the control deck that I knew had cleared the board in hand again. But I, I guess I should have tried my hardest. I, I'm 99% certain from that stage, I just couldn't win anymore. I, I just was out of value. Uh, anyway, that'll do it for this episode, YouTube. If you enjoyed this, why not leave a like and subscribe. Everyone helps me out. I'll see you next time. Bye.